everyone, my name is Brianna Battaccio and I'm a senior cloud engineer here at Eagle Dream Technologies. At Eagle Dream, we're an AWS premier partner with the mission to help our customers redefine what's possible with technology. One way we do this is by helping our customers create actionable insights from their data. Today, we're kicking off our three-part series on Amazon QuickSight. Amazon QuickSight is an AWS service that allows users to easily create reports and share those reports out with users. Some ways that our customers use Amazon QuickSight is to visualize ERP data and then join pre-sales data into post-sales data. It's an easy tool to consolidate all of your data into one spot and join it together in reports. So today, we'll be focusing on exactly how to import your data into QuickSight. So let's hop to it. Hello, everybody. We are currently at the QuickSight dashboard. So the first step to creating visuals in QuickSight is to get your data into the tool. So today I'll be talking about two of the simpler methods of visualizing data. One is uploading a file directly to QuickSight, and the other is crawling data in an S3 bucket. So first, let's just upload a file. So we're at the dashboard. Um, here we can see previous reports that we've created. Up in the top right corner, there's a button called Manage Data. We'll click that. All right, we can see all of our current data sets. So data sets are data that we've imported from anywhere within AWS or local files. So we're going to create a new data set by clicking the button. We're going to upload a file. I have a CSV prepared for today, so I'm going to select that file from my local computer and open it. Right. I can see here that it loaded successfully and it parsed my column names across here and then it's showing me sample data and it looks like everything came in perfect. So what you're seeing now is that it's uploading it into Spice, which is the QuickSight caching service. And with a QuickSight account, you have fr some free Spice data. And so the data today is included in the free space that we have. All right, and one thing I want to note is that when you're uploading a file, there are certain file extensions that are supported by AWS. There's CSV files, TSV files, CLF files, ELF files, XLS, and JSON. So I'm going to click on data sets to see the new data set that I created. All right, so we can see that all of the data is successfully loaded into Spice. I'm going to edit and preview my data. So in the center of the screen, we can see that the source of this data set is the demo underscore small that CSV file. On the left, we can see all of our imported fields. We also have the option to add a calculated field. And then on the bottom half of the screen is our sample data. If the file didn't load successfully, we wouldn't have any data down here. But as we can see, our column names are across the top here and we have successful sample data. On the left-hand side, you can select or deselect columns that you'd like to include. I'm going to keep everything selected since I want all of this data in my report. I'm going to rename this data set to store data, and I'm going to save and visualize. We can see on the right that the spice data is loading and it just hit 100% successful. So we have all of our data. All right, so this page that it brought me to was my analysis page. So this is a draft report. Um, a report can have multiple tables and graphs inside of it. This right here, it automatically created me one empty graph. Again, on the left, I have a list of all of my fields. In this far left menu, the Visualize tab is the default tab. You have the options to add filters. And the rest are more complicated, so I'm not going to go into those today. But this is all you need to get started. Awesome, so what did you think? Let us know in the comments below. Um, stay tuned for our next videos. We'll be covering how to visualize your data in QuickSight and then advanced QuickSight features. If you're interested in speaking with us, you can reach out at eagledream.com or follow us on social media in the description below.